great man. Even if he did exhibit a proclivity for lagoons, then mm. you... Spicy. You were eating his ashes. Oh! Uh, you carry his remains? No, his ashes. He loved to smoke. They never found the body. Oh, well, I'm sure he had his reasons. Can you get Disney to put Dead Man out on Blu-ray, please? Wow. <laughs> I love that movie. Uh, you know what? I'm going to ask. Yeah, I, it's, it's such I a like... great film, and... You know, I, it, I think if any movie would benefit from that transfer, that would. Richard Armour certainly he, he he deserves that. You know, the best the best way possible to view that film. So I will check into it. Absolutely. It seems like it seems Thank like you. a nice return to the genre for you. This is very uh, directly a western, um, mm. and it's a it's a lovely take on a western. Uh, you and Gore have such a particular rhythm when you work together. Can you describe the relationship you two have as collaborators? You know, very similar to to, to with Tim. You know, uh, Burton. Uh, who I worked with for Jesus almost, well, more than 20 years now. Yeah. Um, Gore and I, because we did such a, a, a great amount of work in a very short period of time, you know, four films uh, in about f five, six years, um, there is a shorthand, you know, um, and there's, a, there's an understanding of one another's sort of, I guess, you know, uh, eccentricities and also, you know, how far can we go? How far can we put, you know, let's try and push this out as far as we can go and get away with it, um, which we've done it a number of times. And, um, and so, yeah, there's a kind of mutual, you know, uh, uh, ab ab absurdity uh, club going on, you know. Aside from the Western genre, there's another shadow that kind of hangs over this movie in a lot of ways, and that's Hunter's. Yeah. Um, you know, not only does Hunter make a lovely cameo appearance in the movie, yeah. but the designs themselves, Crash's work almost feels like a Stedman drawing. Yeah, no, it's it, it, it's not unlike the opening of Fear and Loathing in Las Vegas. I mean, in a lot we of ways. We even go to backcountry. Yes, <laughs> we do. We do go to backcountry. Um, <laughs> with you guys having just done a Western and now talking about Lone Ranger, mm -hmm. um, you guys must have something else that you want to say about the genre or say with the genre as you gear up. Well, I think in terms of Rango, I mean, it's it's because it's an animated film, the parameters are quite sort of wide. Um, you can get away with a lot more. Um, and I think it's a great opportunity to salute the sort of uh, the genre of the spaghetti western, you know, the Sergio Leone films and all that, and that sort of thing, which you can sort of do a lot easier in, a, in, a, in, a, in this kind of film. Um, with The Lone Ranger and Tonto, more than anything for me, it's, the, it's, it's kind of an opportunity to be able to erase or, um, or you know, at least brush aside the the cliche um, of the American Indian in films over the last hundred years you know the, the uh, you know the sidekick Tonto and stuff like that it's all changing <laughs> well, I, I can't wait and thank yeah. you so much this was so much fun thanks man